Hi, this is Jason with Revan Optics, and today I'm going to do an unboxing video for the Oakley Carbon Prime. We were lucky enough to get one of these. I think they made 100 in total, um, so we'll go ahead and open it up here. This is the actual shipping label here. We haven't touched it at all, um, but I'll go ahead and use a knife to uh, open up the label and show you what's inside. So the Carbon Prime is unique in that it was a partnership between Moto GP and Oakley. Uh, they used a lot of different materials, uh, really inspired by uh, materials in motorcycles for this. So go ahead and open it up here and you'll see the black box, the black Oakley box. It looks like um, we got the Spot UV treatment Oakley logo on the top and uh, kind of a gloss box there that you can see. Uh, and then we also have the invoice here. These sunglasses were a more expensive pair of Oakley, $610, um, just because they're a unique kind of limited edition product. So we're excited to get in and see what they look like. Um, on the outside, again, it's more of a, a gloss coating. Here on the ends, it looks like a matte kind of finish uh, on both sides, so you can see that there. And the HDO logo, and then the label there on the right side, um, it just says Oakley Carbon Prime uh, with a barcode. And what we're going to do is go ahead and slice that open uh, so we can take a look at what's inside. All right, we'll go ahead and slide this out here. And it looks like we have one of the tube cases there. It's wrapped in plastic, as you can see. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Nice snug fit. And then inside the box there, it looks like we have uh, just the typical paperwork Oakley includes, uh, warranty paperwork. On the other sheet there, they have some VLTs for the different lens tints. All right, so we'll go ahead and now pull the plastic off here. It's just a, looks like it's closed with a little bit of a twist there. We'll slide out this tube case. Just looks like it's a polycarbonate material. Um, has some grip on the top and bottom. It twists shut there so you can seal it. And it looks like the Oakley logo is um, printed on there. And then you have the Moto GP bag, hits of red. And inside the tube here, it's kind of a felt, a gray felt material, a softer one. And you can screw off both ends if you'd like. So the bag here, again, it has that red, the string, and then um, some of the, uh, looks like piping there or stitching is also red. Moto GP logo on the front. And the Carbon Prime sunglasses there inside. And this particular pair has the Prism uh, black lenses, so it's the daily. And uh, super lightweight, uh, really um, probably because of the carbon. And then on the front here it has this split frame design, which is unique. And then some stickers there, you have the prism sticker and you have a sticker here showing that it's polarized and it looks like RXable. So you could put RX lenses in this frame. Here's the etching uh, Moto GP logo on the bottom left hand corner of the left hand lens. Uh, really light etching there. And then you have the white icons, which is pretty unique uh, on these frames as well. It looks like the front of the frame is plastic. And then the hinges here, um, the top one doesn't have any plastic wrapping on it, the bottom one does to keep from scratching. The hinges themselves are carbon fiber, so go ahead and open these up and slide that plastic off. So we can take a look at both of them. It looks like it goes from uh, titanium in the front to carbon. Those carbon hinges are screwed into the titanium front, then to the unobtainium material on the back. There's a little bit of grip there. It's kind of a classic Oakley thing to add that to the end of the temples. And then uh, the nose piece here is a little bit unique um, in that it's metal. It looks like you could bend it to fit your nose. And then it has little pieces of unobtainium there in the nose piece uh, for more grip. So as they say, you perspire more and the unobtainium should grip more. Overall, they have the hammer stems here, which is another kind of Oakley signature for frames. And then the most unique feature on these frames uh, and the tie-in to the motorcycle are the hinges. Um, they have these shock absorber inspired hinges on both sides. It's uh, a gloss metal and uh, they flex out a little bit as well as in, but it's a piston is what the website says. So again, the hammer stem there um, leaves room for these shock like hinges and it's a really cool little feature there that when you're wearing them, you can't really see them. You can see a little bit of a glimpse through the outer frame, but when you have them off, it's very clear that those are uh, little tiny shocks nestled in there where the hammer stem kind of branches out on these frames. Um, they work well, seem to provide a lot of give there for people with bigger heads, um, but also feel very sturdy, which is cool. So 
So on the left hand temple here, you can see pad, pad printed on the carbon in kind of a silver matte finish. Looks like potentially the model number and then the O logo and CE. Uh, so that's on the carbon itself. And then on the right temple, you have uh, just the name of the frame, the carbon prime. Uh, again, pad printed in kind of a silver, not quite gloss, a little bit more matte there on that temple. So pretty cool design, nice pad printing. It all flows well together. All right, on the label here, I'm just reading it. It says, um, designed and engineered by Oakley USA and assembled in the US. I don't see where it says the components are actually made. So it looks like um, everything uh, was designed and assembled in the US, but um, it doesn't say on the frame or the box where the components were actually made. Overall, I'm really impressed with these frames. They seem well built, uh, lightweight, and uh, it's clear, I used to ride a Ducati, it's clear here that They've used a lot of great materials and design inspiration from motorcycles. Overall, a very impressive product from Oakley.